Meteorologist Matt Yurisavik joining us here for our national forecast and starting with severe weather. It's that time of year, Matt, where uh, spring storms start to pop up. Oh yeah, and we've got that drier weather back to the west. We've got a dry line in parts of Oklahoma and Texas. So that's something that's going to be continuing to move east and another storm popping up as we head through today and tomorrow. And as that storm system gets going, the chance for severe weather there highlighted in yellow all the way from uh, northern portions of Nebraska and into Iowa there near Omaha down through Kansas City and all the way down towards Dallas, Texas, seeing the chance for some stronger storms with the best chance is going to be right here through central and northern portions of Oklahoma right through eastern Kansas, Wichita, Oklahoma City included in that. And that's where we could see some of those stronger storms, some of those stronger supercells out ahead of that dry line as that system starts to get going. Now, this threat moves north and east as we head through Saturday. Places like Illinois, Indiana, all the way down through parts of Missouri and Arkansas, seeing the chance for some of those stronger storms. That includes Indianapolis, St. Louis, down towards Memphis or just to the north of there. It also includes the Chicago area as well. So that's something we'll be watching as we head into the weekend. Here's a look at that system. It's going to get going as we head through today. You can see that dry line down to the south. Warm front out ahead of this. And as this storm system wraps up again, there is that area highlighted in red for that chance of severe weather to the warm front to the north. Dry line to the south. Those are what is going to kind of power up those storms as we head through the afternoon. You can see some of those get going as that low moves farther to the north, but then we kind of get that occluded low and as it moves farther to the north and east, we've got this area here highlighted in red. You've got a warm front coming through Chicago in the evening and a cold front trailing it in between those fronts. That is where we've got the chance for some strong gusty winds and some stronger thunderstorms as well. That's really the only show in town. We've got high pressure to the east and back to the west, just a uh, light cold front moving into the northwest, bringing some higher elevation snow and some rain with that as well. Most of the rain is going to fall with this storm system in the upper Midwest. Again, still wanting to get out into those fields, and it looks like we're going to see a lot of rain across the lower 48, except where we need it the most, West Texas, all the way back through Southern California, going to stay pretty dry. And out ahead of this storm, it's going to be very, very warm with uh, temperatures getting a little bit cooler on the northern side, but 70s and 80s out ahead of that storm system. That's all because of the jet stream. Here's that cutoff low moving right up through the north and then keeping it pretty active as we head through the week and into next week. We'll continue to follow that on Ag Day. That's a look around the country. Now let's take a look at the weather where you live. Arcadia, Florida, mostly sunny with evening showers, a high of 82 degrees. Terre Haute, Indiana, cloudy with showers, a high of 64 degrees. And Helena, Montana, rain and snow likely, a high of 48 with temperatures dropping.